minus, how are you? It's Rowan, we're counting in to you there. It's Destination Yuri's live outreach to the world by virtue, the miracle of the internet. Two people with me here of great musical provenance, Gabriel Bradley, you've heard Gabriel here before. Shane Morgan of uh, Ross Trevor, you've not heard here before. Pleasure to see you, sir. Thank welcome. You very much. Thanks and for having me. Good to see you. Good, good welcome you, back, Gabriel. So before we do anything, maybe we should hear. Maybe we should allow you to set out your store and hear a song. Would that be okay? Yes. Okay. No problem, no problem. Away you go. It must have been cold there in my shadow to never have sunlight on your face. were content to let me shine for so long. You always walked a step behind. So I was the one with all the one with all the strength a beautiful face without a name for so long a beautiful smile to hide the pain did you ever know I could fly higher than an eagle You are the wind beneath my wings It might have appeared to go I've got it all here in my heart I want you to know I know the truth Of course I know it I would be nothing without you Never know that you're my hero. You're everything I would like to be, and I could fly higher than a song you just don't want to stop well done well done what <laughs> i know what i notice there is, is there's uh, there's it's beautiful but i'm, I'm i'll be more precise mm -hmm. skill comes mm -hmm. to my uh, voice here because there's a there's a nuance of tone there when you're moving there are wee things you're doing there yes but you know not many people can do that easily but it's a, is it tone that you're changing, or is it key that you're changing, or what you is know, it? I suppose it is the tone. Just a wee, the, just, so we jump down, it, we jump up, and we yeah, gurgle in there. Gurgle, that's a new musical <laughs> term for you this morning, Mr. Bradley, sir. <laughs> Adding a bit of colour. That's yeah, that's the way I well it. done. Thank Where you. did your musical journey begin, sir? Well, I, I've always been singing and writing since I was, 
since I can remember. Mm. And I joined a choir as, as, you know, the normal kind of stage, but mm. it was actually, I was bribed into it. <laughs> Sounds all right. I was 13 years old and I was staying at my Aunt Evelyn's for the summer holidays. Yeah. And my father came down to visit and handed me a fiver and told me he had entered me into a talent <laughs> show in Newcastle at the Burndale. He must have thought you had some promise. He did. Yeah, he did. which was great. Yeah, he did. So obviously he heard you singing around the house. Yeah, I didn't shut up. <laughs> and I think he thought, I, I need to get out. I need to get up. That hasn't out. changed. No, that <laughs> hasn't changed. No. But Sh Shane, what was the driving force? What was this never shut up thing? Uh, where did it, what was making you sing? I don't know. From the I, earliest time I, you remember? I honestly can't, I, I, there was no one thing that started it. I think I love telling stories. Yeah. Um, whether it be through dialogue or mm. lyric. Mm. I, I like to tell a story. I like mm. to hear stories. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that's what it was. And of course, you tell stories in your songwriting, because not yes. only do you sing songs, you write songs. Yes, I do. What, uh, nowadays, look, um, it, it's not rocket science for song lyrics. I love you, I've always loved you, you broke my heart, <laughs> go away, I'll grow again. Yeah. But I mean, you, you, you maybe do a wee bit more than that. Well, I, I think, for me, I just write about what I know, yeah. or about what I'm feeling. Give me an example. Um, of something, in, in some lyrics that you've put together, you've composed. Well, there's a song I wrote a few years ago called Why. Why? And mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's quite graphic in the sense that you can visualize very clearly. It's, um, why when you've had a drink or two, does your mind wander way back deep into the past? Why when the rain is falling down and not a sinner can be found, you breathe that little part of you you thought you drowned? Why in the spring, when the daisies dance, all around you there's lovers and wild romance, and fools who are just like you, can you tell me why my heart aches still? That's, that's a... Christ, you could be right. <laughs> <laughs> you could write my story there. <laughs> uh, do you know, I it's think that's wonderful. what it is as well. It connects yeah, to a lot of people. It does, because it does. We're not and the notion different. of springtime, the daisies dance, that use of language, and there was the other line in there as well, which was very, very strong and very evocative, absolutely. So you're going off on a world cruise. I am, yes. You're not uh, long back. No, I came back in April. Yeah, you're around I, yet. I, I am. As I'm, they say in Rooster River. I'm a hobo. A hobo. Me and my suitcase. That's you and your it. Suitcase. Off, off I go. Which, and your voice. And my voice, That's yes. all you need. Yeah. So what, what line are you going with? This time I'm with uh, Piano Arcadia. My goodness. So um, I'm really There's no such thing as half measures here. No. <laughs> P and O Arcadia. Arcadia, yeah. That's my goodness. third ship. Yeah. And before that was the Azura. Yeah. And before that it was the Queen Victoria, yeah. Cunard ship. When I went to sea as a radio officer a long, long time ago, uh, the creme de la creme was Blue Funnel. Mm -hmm. And Blue Funnel was the one we all wanted to, to go with. But I mean, right. P and O, of course, is up there as well. And uh, how do you manage to get a gig on a cruise liner? Audition. Really? They, yes. they advertise, you apply? That's it, yeah. Basically, yeah. Um, my agent called me, said they want to see you, went in on the wow. Thursday, didn't do the recall, I got the phone call on the Monday and I started two weeks later. My goodness. So, so you, get, it, you, you get the call, then you've got to get yourself to the port of departure. Well, that's it. I, I start, I'm working with a the theatre company as well yeah. um, on this. and. Uh, so we start rehearsals on the 12th of August in Southampton. Yeah. They have a new academy there. New so studio. you'll be rehearsing first, mm -hmm. and then uh, that theatre company, within a couple of weeks... Within, within six weeks. Six weeks, you'll be on board. We'll be on board. And for many months? Uh, seven months. Seven... <laughs> I know it, sounds, it sounds like a long time to be on No, it's just you're, I'm hating you for taking me back into my youth. <laughs> you know, I would have got the call. I would have got the call to go as a radio officer to join my next ship. Yes. It might have been the Ben Doran going out to the Far East. It might have been the Cheripo going into Africa to yeah. take bananas back to the UK. Yeah, yeah. But suddenly, you talking about going there, shipping out from there. Seven, oh, God, it's just taking me right back, I tell you. Fantastic going together. But I mean, you, you, the theatre, where does the theatre come into it? You've told me about the singing. Well, I, I started as an actor, you see. I, right. I, I t started singing professionally when I was 13. But then when I was 16, I kind of, I wanted to develop a wee bit more um, instead of maybe using song, using dialogue. So yeah. I went to study in England. Um, so I've been, I've been doing both really since then. A lot of musical theatre or... or yeah. So what theatre will you do this time on board, on the Arcadia? Well, these, the, the more uh, 
production shows, so that they're themed shows in the ah, yeah, sense yeah. that, for example, we'd have a musical theatre show, West yeah. End Broadway. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we'd have another show which is like swing and yeah, yeah. a bit of jazz. And, yeah. and then I'd do my own show as well. Wow. What, what's the opening of your own show? The opening few lines. Uh, you, you give us a flavour of it. Uh, of my, my yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I just start the, with... The, um, curtain, the curtain opens, you're on. <coughs> but it's, there's just, just a... Um, because we have a, uh, there's a full orchestra, but it's literally just a chord. Chord. And birds <coughs> flying high. And then and the, away. The, the strings come in and wow. then they're away. And, and then you're singing. the brass and, and yeah. Sweet Moses. Yeah. You're some boy for one man from Mr. <laughs> Ever, I tell you. You're great all together. I'm trying to pack it all in. Well, why wouldn't you? I'm trying to do this? everything. But it's great. It's great. The, uh, could you have been anything other than a musician, a singer, a songwriter in life? Or what, if, if you had it to do again, what might you wish to have been? You're still young. You're well, bricklayer. You could have been quiet. <laughs> a bricklayer. No, that definitely wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Um, do you, well, when I first applied to drama school in London, I, I, I got a, an offer, but I didn't get the um, scholarship. Yeah. And I'm one of seven children, so there was no wow. way that I could afford mm. to go. So I decided, Daddy wanted me to have something to fall back on, if you yeah. like. So I went to Brickley. Dublin. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tis fault. <laughs> Tis fault. Yeah, to study humanities and journalism. Yeah. So a writer <coughs> would always have. And been did you did you actually uh, you you clearly were wiser than your daddy because uh, y you clearly never believed that humanities and journalism would have been a safe bet to fall back on. Well, I just never thought I'd fall. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I love it. So yeah. I did. A, I did a year. I did enjoy it. Now I yeah. really did. But I knew. Yeah. I, I, no, I couldn't. I couldn't. No, I couldn't imagine. But Shane, where did this else. confidence come from? Is it in your DNA? Is it something handed down? Is there music in your family? What's the story? Um. Your I'm sister's not, great singer. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, I mean, it's funny. We all sing. We all yeah. sing or write to some degree. But on a stage, um, and I have a brother, Oliver, who sings on stage as well, occasionally. I don't know. I don't know. It you just, see, it's a mighty it, thing to be an actor. Yes. I'm not saying it's not a mighty thing to be a singer. Mm -hmm. But that business of standing up mm -hmm. and transforming yourself into a completely different see, person. I think that's what I enjoy the most. Mm. I'm not me. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. Why do you not want to be you for a well, while? Well, no, because I get to be me a lot. <laughs> 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 and particularly whenever you're, yeah. you're singing and songwriting, you're exposing yourself yeah. a lot. So it's nice to do something else yeah. very different yeah. from, from you. Yeah. yeah. So you would, you would thrill to the notion of the, the, the sort of burble within the audience and the lights made the audience, uh, the orchestra and young starting to yes. you know, oh. and suddenly the, the thing starts to lift Stand and the lights the go down. Just and, yeah, wow. get that yeah. adrenaline. And, yeah. What about nerves, stage fright? Now, touch what I've never had stage fright as yeah. such. I, and, and I but have natural nerves? That, definitely. Yeah. Without yeah, question. Yeah. I was asked that question the other evening. I was doing a concert uh, during the Fiddler's Green. Yeah. And um, I was asked, because I, I was just. I tend to go a wee bit quiet before yeah. that performance. Mm -hmm. um, are you nervous? And I said, yes, certainly, because it's a home crowd. Mm -hmm. But not only that, because I think if you don't have nerves, you don't really care. Yeah, yeah. It keeps that you want to do well. You want to, of course. And that's a respect for your audience. For the audience. Yeah. Yeah, you want Absolutely. them to. Yeah. yeah. So I do, but thank God it's never, it's never hindered me as such. It's never You're stumped me. She ended a show on Thursday evening in the Fiddler's Green in the concert yeah. hall in the back of the GA. And it was packed. I mean, there wasn't even room to stand. Yeah, <laughs> it was a yeah. fantastic. Well, they were One great, man. They were a great audience. One man. Great audience. Yeah, and I, I had um, Jared Farrell on guitar, Tom McFarlane on percussion. Ah, dear and Tom. He He's a good lad. Yeah. On the violin. Yeah. Yeah. Great stuff. It's a big acoustic-y kind of concert. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. The biggest crowd, I think, for the whole festival. It was a great mm. turnout. Yeah. It was would delighted. you would you consciously try to get back for the Fiddlers on an annual basis? Next year, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I missed last year. I was yeah. in. Somewhere I, I, yeah. I was away yeah. abroad, but yeah. I, 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 and I actually missed it. Yeah, I, mean, I missed it for many years, you know, growing up and when I was away studying and stuff. Yeah, but it's almost like a homecoming. Yeah, and I'm definitely coming back next year.
Good man. We, you see, we, we had a, a little experience of cruise liners last Sunday in Warren Point. This Adam yes. Pearl came in. Yes, that's right. And it was great fun altogether. Yeah. I had the opportunity of boarding her at the lighthouse at dawn and coming in to make a oh, documentary. Oh, lovely. And it was really bringing me back. It yeah. was fantastic to do it. Uh, and it, it, but, but I was getting off again, and most of my voyages when I was at sea would have been a month out, a month back, but seven months on board. Mm. It's a long time to be on a ship. It is, it, it is. Well, the last one I did was nine months. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But, uh, do you know what it is? It's a huge ship. Yeah. Um, you don't get fed up with it, bored with it. There's two and a half thousand guests on this yeah. one, and about. I love the way you say Maybe. guests. Yes. Not passengers. No. Not clients. No. They're guests. They're guests. Wow, that yeah. makes it. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's a lovely contract in the sense that I, I, tend, I work in the evenings, you know, yeah. and, so that my days are free. Yeah. Um, and uh, they're huge. You've got a cinema, you have pools, you have a gym, you have. Fantastic. And of course, you're in port every day or every second yeah. day, you know, so wow. you get to get off and yeah. so sample that. You know you about know. the world. You've been places. I've been places and I want to I want to go to more. To more. <laughs> Is there anywhere left for you to go? Do you know, I, I still haven't done South Africa or yeah. Canada, Alaska. Wow. And there's a few on this voyage that I haven't been to yeah. before in India and such. So yeah, the, there's, there's always the people you travel with, I know you mm -hmm. can't say that the Pope is bad, so to speak, but mm -hmm. the people you travel with. Yeah. Uh, uh, can they be a little tiring at times? Can you do you have to work hard at them or the, are is they? It, do you mean my, my the cast audience, that I work? The yeah, audience, your audience, the people who travel, your guests. Um, you're constantly on display. We see now that that is the one thing that um, because you're you're isolated in, in a sense, yeah. and and they they meet you on the first night because you're performing for them for and the first night. They're going to see you for the rest so of the seven see you months for the or rest ever. of the um, time. Their cruise. Um, most 99% are friendly yeah. and warm, and yeah. um, there's the odd one, you know, you're sitting, eating your dinner, and, and you're you your mouthful, and, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're, and they want to talk, and ah, yeah, yeah, so you yeah. do, but you yeah. want to eat your dinner at the same yeah. time, but yeah. yeah, most of them are very respectful, yeah. and, and it's, I love meeting people, so yeah, for the most part, it's, it's a pleasure. Ah, I absolutely yeah. understand this. Do you fall in love on board? There's a question for you. Romance? Not yet. Not yet. No, I haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> I've fallen a few times. Oh, not in love. Uh, not we know, love. We know. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, we'll, we, we, we will draw. We, we shall draw a veil of, of yes. charity and chastity yes. over all of that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, the seagoing life is great. I, you, you bring so many memories back to me, and going ashore and the things we got up to and all of it. Yeah. Hong Kong, Singapore, Bangkok, and then Dakar and West Africa. And you're so well travelled. You, you well, we've done things. It's. You do what you have to do in life, yeah, don't you, as absolutely. you move through, there's no two ways about it. What about another piece of music, lads? Yes, what would you do? What sure. do you think you'd like to do? Um, we'll do Carrick Fergus. Wow, I love this. Just because it's a homey song. Yeah, you know, it's, it's gorgeous, so. absolutely. And you're so, you're so suited, the, the accompaniment in you, but it works. Gabriel's a fantastic player. Wow, tell me. He really is. Me, we've, been, we've been playing <coughs> for a long time now. Yeah. yeah, so he knows nearly before I do. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, lads. I wish I was in Carrick Fergus only for nights in Ballygrand. I would swim over the deepest ocean, the deepest ocean, for my love to find. But the sea is wide. And I cannot swim over, nor have I the wings to fly. But if I could find me a handsome boy. To my love 
and die. And in Kilkenny, it is reported that there are these marble stones as black as ink with gold and silver. Sure, I would support her, but I'll say no more now, till I get a drink, for I'm drunk today, and I'm seldom sober. A handsome rover From town to town Oh, but I'm sick now And my days, they are numbered So come on, young man And lay I, I, I can see, I can see the tables there, I can see the white linen cloths, I can see the silver service, I can see the food being consumed, the champagne and the chardonnay and all the rest have been drunk, and then they erupt into the joy of, we're saying great stuff, great stuff, great stuff, you know. It's a, so, so paint, paint us a picture of where you actually sing on the boat. That maybe comes close to it, what I've just said there. Um, well, when, when I do my own show, I, it's, in a, it's more of a um, cabaret lounge. Yeah. But in the theatre, the theatre's a 600-seater. So we have yeah. the... Give, us, have give it one sec. Martin, just two minutes upstairs, if okay. you would. And no. ring the bell and go in and sit in the green. We'll see you then. That's my next <laughs> guest coming in, Martin Savage there. And uh, he'll wait upstairs, so he's on at half past nine. Mm -hmm. That's Martin Savage of uh, martial arts fame, a great human being, with me at half past nine. Now, I interrupted you. And oh, no, uh, the, the theatre, the production shows are quite grand. You know, yeah. They have a revolving stage and yeah. things flying in. And is, it, is, it, is, it, is it show with food or is it simply... Say, no, 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 you no. have your, your main and then you'll come, then to, you the come to the show. Then you'll come to the show. Or you'll mm. watch the show, then go to your... Yeah, yeah. The two settings. It, it's a great privilege for you if you think about it. Mm -hmm. you're, in what you're doing, you're contributing to the tapestry of people's lives. These are folk very often who are at the twilight time of life, or retired and whatever, mm -hmm. and you're painting pictures with your voice, the, ambi the ambience of your shows, you're contributing to something special, a kind of joie de vie that you're doing there. That's a great privilege. It, it, is, a, it is a privilege, and I, I think it doesn't matter if you're in a big theatre or in a pub mm. doing a gig, because mm. you're there to entertain, mm. to make them feel something, mm. whether it's a bit melancholy on occasion. Yeah, know, it can be. Or yeah. But joyful, you know, yeah. happy, you know, they yeah. want to join in. Mm. So it, it is a privilege, you know, yeah. to perform for people on any level. How many folk are on the cruise with you? How um, many guests? This, this cruise ship, the capacity is two and a half thousand. We so you have two and a half thousand guests and then near to two thousand crew. Yeah, my yeah. God. That's just it's, a, it's a lot of people. <laughs> but the last one was even bigger, it was three and a half thousand guests. It was, it was I you think keep the you, population yeah. is bigger than Restrever and Cologne yeah. combined. You keep pulling me back to my dime. You know, I was on a banana boat. Now the banana boats were famed. We took twelve, maybe eighteen passengers. Mm -hmm. they, it was the the creme de la creme who came with us. Individual attention. We dined in the saloon, uh, mahogany panelled walls, silver service, uniform at night, everything, captain's table, all the rest of it. I was only 19 at the time, Gabriel. You should Where come on. Amazing. Oh, you should come on my ship oh, for a cruise. Wouldn't it be great to be fit to do that? I'm 71 now and have other fish to fry, <laughs> which is a... <laughs> no, it sounds beautiful. You, you do me a great favour in pulling me back. So the, the, you, how, talk to me about your provenance with this man, uh, uh, Gabriel. Where did it all 
begin and when did you start singing together? I don't even remember how we actually started. It was through was the three? festival. Yeah. Was that through Sinead and Avian? Sinead and Avian. My Sinead sister Avian. Yeah. That's, yeah. plays yeah. in a band called Inchiquin. Mm -hmm. And Avian, who is your best friend. best friend, played with Inchiquin from time to time. Yeah. They needed a violin player. Avian's fantastic. Yeah. So then it was through that that I met Shane. Yeah. Well, do you, in a sense, do you, do you follow him or is, are you following his music? What, what's the alchemy that creates the sound? <laughs> well, if he starts, I follow him. <laughs> <laughs> and if I start, he follows me. <laughs> and really That's probably go, very honest. You yeah. just go with it. Go with you it. Go, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you go, you go yeah. with it. The, uh, so the, the festival is close to the end now, it's over now. It over? Yes, yeah. it, was, it finished there on Sunday yeah. evening. Yeah. How was the Sunday yeah. evening Sands come, homecoming concert? Very good. It was good, it was yeah. Great evening. Right. Your, your show was in the same location, wasn't it? Yes, mine yeah. was on the Thursday. Aye, aye, so they came yeah. back. And uh, as big a success as ever, yeah, tell me about it, Gabriel. Yeah, it was. It was a great festival this year. Fantastic. Mm. We had the wine down last night. It was like the thank you. Had you not the wine every night? Is that what you said? <laughs> the wine, the wine down. Oh, the wine <laughs> down, I do beg your pardon. Yeah. It was yeah. a big thank you party for everybody and all the festival committee were there yeah. and the mm. Tommy Sands and Ben Sands were there. And yeah. There was a lot of singing and music all night. Yeah. But it was a great festival, yeah. Absolutely. Was, and all the businesses get such a great spin out of it. They do, yeah, they do. But there is a, you, it's, it's, it's unusual, it's unique really in that there is a good spirit with the festival. Mm -hmm. It never changes. Uh, there's a goodness afoot yes. in Ross River. Whatever intoxication occurs, it occurs within the confines of yes. people's personal respectability. Absolutely. There's yeah. no nonsense no, going no on, nonsense, which God, is yeah. great. Yeah. And long may that long it may that continue. It was well police this year too. Yes, there was, was a lot yeah. of police. Just yeah. Right. Just to but it was great yesterday or on Saturday. I'd say the Cabroni Inn. There was a policeman on his push bike. Oh yeah, standing talking to five or six fellas having a drink. Yeah, outside the outside pub, the pub chatting, chatting away. and yeah. it was great to see. Yeah. Them. What point? Uh, when? What's your date for going off again? The seventh of August. Oh my God! So you're beginning to get twitchy now. Yeah, I'm. Can't I'm, wait, sort of. Well, no, I'm just going to have a couple of days winding down and then saying goodbyes again. Yeah, yeah. It's always yeah. sort of goodbyes and, yeah. but, um. Uh, my parents. My parents are going to come out in the cruise. Wonderful. Later in the year. Yeah. Where will they join you? In Southampton. Uh huh. Um, and so do you go out? Do you go out from Southampton, come back to Southampton, go out again? Well, from October to January for January sixth. I beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. It's um, European Med. Yeah. That's the first leg, if you like. So they'll come back and forth several yeah. times to Southampton, so people can get on and get wow. back off or whatever, and then. Um, from the 6th of January, we do the transatlantic wow. and we don't come back till the end of April. <laughs> <laughs> when you round Europa Point, give a nod at the Sierra Nevadas for me. I will. And greet the snow-capped tops <laughs> and the blue sky. Lovely. And that'll be the place I shall go in a year's time, I rather think, Gabriel. Maybe mm. a wee bit more. For good? For said. good. I'll, buy a, I'll, buy a, I'll just get a cabin on the mountainside beside a stream and live and die there. I will wow. build my house in a high place, not far from the raging sea, and men who were boys when I was a boy shall sit and talk with me. And then when the time comes, I'll either swim off towards North Africa, or I'll simply sit out in the sun and quietly slip away. It makes passing on almost romantic. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Break your heart. I love my ticket. <laughs> <laughs> That's a point. I could get a sponsored death. Would be okay. I'm telling you. Here I go. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, you know, here I go. Here I go. Here and I will go. you really do that? I'm you? going to heaven, never yeah. down below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will. It's, well, it's my intention. I, I would be, I, I, I have projects which are ongoing, you see, and it makes it, difficult to commit to time away uh, but some of the projects are in Africa some in India some in Ireland and uh, I, I think I think fulfillment I don't know about you guys but fulfillment in life is the ability to engage in things that make a difference for those in whose life lives a difference is needed mm -hmm. when you can do that so my pleasure of the the mountainside the foothills of Sierra Nevada is by the the lime green stream uh, 
crystalline. That's subsidiary. That'll all fit in with the other things. If the projects naturally come to a close and to an end, then I'm off to sunny Spain, and that's pretty well. Sunny Spain. It so these are right projects now. that you're doing to help people. And oh, there's, the, there's the schools in Africa, there's the uh, business with the, the children in India, and then there's the, there's the work at the weekends in Dublin. Uh, I heard a great story about um, helping people, and somebody says, but sure, what's the point in helping? There's so too many people who need oh, yeah. help. There's no mm -hmm. point in where do you start? But if everybody thought that, then you know, yeah. happen, but there's a great story. This man was walking along the beach one day, and as all these starfish had been yeah. washed ashore, thousands and thousands of them, and he was lifting each one, turning, throwing them back into yeah. the water again. Another man came along to him and says, "What the hell are you doing? Mm. There's so many starfish there. You couldn't mm. possibly get them all back in again. Mm. What's the point? You can't help them all. You just mm. lifted up another one. Help that one. <laughs> help that one. <laughs> help that one. It's like Paddy McGuinness, dear, bless him." When he was in Africa, he founded one of the founding members of Concern Worldwide, mm -hmm. great Nuri man. And Paddy tells the story of being in Betuana land or wherever, and uh, he was working with the poor people. And the Minister for Information arrived in his uh, chauffeur driven Bentley, you see, and he came along in his pinstripe suit and he got out. And he said, I see you're doing this work in with my people. Uh, you're very good, but really. You, they don't, they're not like, they're used to it. They don't, it doesn't really, when they fall, it doesn't really affect them that much. They can get back up again. Mm -hmm. So Paddy, to his eternal credit, hit your man a kick in the arse. And he says, you're, you're one of them. Did you feel that? He says, <laughs> and they feel it as well. So let's go on from there. Yeah. And they became very, very good friends in that, that sort of situation. But the, th the same thing is the thing when I went to India to rescue the boy. Uh, that there was no point in taking one child out of India and leaving all his mates behind. Mm -hmm. So we put a couple of projects in to help them. And the lovely thing about this kind of work and radio and television is you can say at the beginning of a program, I want to buy a bus in India for children who need it. By the end of the program, as was the case in this particular one, we had the money for the bus, the 15,000. Wow. Know, that happens. But that's, that's important. Amazing, you're you're going to do another tune for me to we finish, are you? <coughs> yes, How does that sound? More. Yeah, I'm yours. In G. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This stuff. is uh, one of my own. That's the first song I ever thought was any good. <laughs> well, that's okay. good. That's a... Thank you. The reason why I look at you Even when your head is turned away Cause I want to remember every part of you to my dying day. The reason why I hold you close and squeeze so hard is because I want an imprint of your memory on my heart. I am yours, I am yours, give you my life, oh won't you say you give me yours, I give you my dreams, I give you every part of me, I say you the mine. Why is this so few words? If we ever argue, it's because I have this burning fear that with the wrong words I will lose you. The reason why I need you so much every day and night is because without you I would. Without you I would die inside I am yours I am yours I give you my life Oh, won't you say you give me yours I give you my dreams I give you every part of me
my life Oh, won't you say you give me yours I give you my dreams I give you every part of me Oh, say you'll be mine Cause I am yours Bravo, bravissimo. Well done, Very sir. Good. Well done, sir. Well done. Thank you. And I wish you fair winds. Oh, thank God bless you. you. Shane Morgan uh, from Ross Trevor. Pleasure. Gabriel Bradley from Warren Point. Thank Thanks, you guys Earl. for coming in. We'll have a lesser quality of music now. <laughs>